Alex. You know when you shoot with me, you gotta edit it so much because I spill Alex. I spill all of the tea. <laughs> Have you ever taken a personality test? A personality test? Yeah. I, I did something pretty close to it. It was the the which Hogwarts house are you? <gasps> what Hogwarts house are you? What what Hogwarts house do you think I am? Well, I'm Gryffindor, so you're probably Slytherin. Are you? Yeah. I still see your shadows in my room. The, the love, love that, that I gave, gave you. you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you, but I cannot change you, so I must replace you. Oh. Are you gonna do my intro? Uh huh. Okay, what, what, go. What's up, guys? It's Neza. <laughs> it's. That was what's really up? close. What's up? It's Neza. No. Close. Hey. <laughs> Hola. No. What's up guys? It's your girl Neza. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That's what it is. Ready? <clears throat> okay, go. What's up guys? It's your girl Neza. Why <laughs> <laughs> did your voice change like that? Because I tried to hit the same notes you did. Oh, okay, got it. What's up guys? <laughs> it's your girl Neza. Alright you guys, so welcome back to an episode of Search for My Soulmate, episode 2. Dose. Episode dose. We got Alex Iono. Six and a half hours later. Three days later. Oh, no. Alright you guys, so today we're going to be finding Alex's love language. Um, I did this with Bobby. So there's five love languages. They're physical touch, quality time, acts of service, gift giving, and... Words of affirmation. Yeah, Today we're gonna be finding Alex's love language to see if it's compatible with mine. So me and Alex are really good friends, so I'm pretty sure I know what yours is, and I'm pretty sure he can kind of guess what mine is, just because we're we're very similar. Mm -hmm. But let's get into this. I have this love language quiz from love five love languages.com. Add. Sounds Hashtag legit, add. not sponsored, I wish. So let's get it's more meaningful to me when mm -hmm. someone I love sends me a loving note text for no special reason or I hug someone I love. Mm. It's more meaningful to me uh, to get a hug from someone I love. Aww, sure. okay. It's more meaningful to me when I can spend time alone with someone I love, just us. Ooh, or Netflix and chill? Or Netflix like... and chill, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Or <laughs> someone I love does something practical to help me out. I do like when people do practical things for me, but like alone, like spending time with somebody and really like hanging out with them uh, is probably more important. To okay. me. So I'm gonna go with that one. Spend time alone. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. let's yeah. get let's... frisky. <laughs> what? It's more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a gift as a token of our love. Mm. <laughs> Or I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. Tell you what, speaking of gifts, I think. What was your question? <laughs> turning into just like Alex venting time. I feel like this is more of a therapy <laughs> session. I'm gonna start than, crying. Than By the end of this video, I'm you're just crying. Bawling. Gift or I spend un uninterrupted time. What's the gift? Um, a teddy bear. Oh, whack. Nope, I'll do uninterrupted time, please. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected for me. Ooh. Or I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. I think, oh, that's a tough one. Because unexpected, like, spontaneous stuff is always fun. But, a little tickety touch! Never heard <laughs> tickety anybody. touch! Yes, Look, touch! It says, I, I can share an innocent... A tickety touch. A tickety touch. Tick oh, it's not... It's tickety, not tickety? No, tickety. Tickety touch. Yeah, tickety touch. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public, mm. or someone I love surprises me with a gift. That would have been nice to, to put my arm... What was the other one? <laughs> gift. Oh, gift. I don't know, that one to me, like, because I don't really care about, like, the PDA thing. Yeah, I don't So really I guess, like, that. ugh. This one's weird, because yeah, I don't care for either Yeah, because I don't really either. care for either of them. But I guess I'd go, because I really, 
I really don't like getting gifts, especially from some. If we're talking about love, like I'd rather somebody show me their love. Like I guess that kind of gives away. Maybe I, I'm assuming what I think my love language okay. will be. But I'm gonna go with the arm around. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I'm around someone I love, right. even if we're not really doing anything. Or I can be comfortable holding hands, high-fiving, putting my arm around someone I love. Around someone, someone I love, if, even if we're not, so I guess just spending time. I like that. I yeah. think I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. I do love, because I like sometimes there's nothing better than like just being in bed all day and just like, I'm just chilling. Chilling. A little tiggity touch every <laughs> once in a while. But mainly, we just chilling. <laughs> Tiggity touch. Little tiggity touch. Oh, Never God. hurt nobody. It's more meaningful to me when I sit close to someone I love, I am complimented by someone I love. Mm. I guess sit close. Sit close. I don't know. I don't like compliments. I'm not like, I mean, I, I do like when some, like, I, I, I like compliments, but I don't like them um, from like, I don't like them when they're forced. Like Got if somebody it. was like, hey, like, yo, <laughs> nice face. <laughs> and you're just like, cool, thanks. But it's also it what? also means a lot when somebody sits by me. Yeah. I don't know if that made any sense. I don't know. I tried to follow it, but I You're don't like, know. Yeah. I said, nice yeah. face. I don't nice know. Nice face. I don't know. It's more meaningful to me when I hear someone I love tell me I'm proud of you, or mm. someone I love helps me with a task. I think it's the proud one. Like like hearing Aww. my mom tell me Aww. that she's proud of me. Yeah. It's more meaningful to me when I get to do things with someone I love. I hear supportive words from someone Ooh. I love. I don't know. I got into climbing. I'm 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 into bouldering right now. I saw that. And there's nothing better than when like I'm on the like when I'm on the wall, I'm like in the middle of a problem. Somebody's like, "You got it!" Like that feels really really good. But the yeah. first one was I get, to, get do to do things, things. But that also is a part of doing things with somebody loves. Therefore, I think I'm gonna do things with someone I love. Okay. It's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from someone I love. Mm. Someone I love gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. Hmm. See, that's another thing. I, I do know. love hearing praise from people, but like more so not necessarily like I don't need praise from like My like I like I love praise from like my dad because yeah. I work so hard to like to you know to, to make him proud my mom because I want her to be proud or like my manager yeah. or whatever, but I also like getting like I mean I don't like getting things, but I like when people show that they've been thinking about me. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Gift giving is weird for me. Like every time I do these tests, like I always like I never choose like the gifts, but I think it's because like I've never been in a relationship where like gift giving was a thing. Well, yeah, but that's why. So <laughs> Even in my long term relationship, there was never like I just don't know how I would like. I say that I don't yeah. like it, but I think it's because I'm used to not getting gifts. You're used. To the tea. It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around someone I love or I get a back rub from someone I love. Ooh. I'm gonna go back rub back solely rub. because I just like a little back rub, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love reacts positively to something I have accomplished mm -hmm. or someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. Aww. See, I don't see, but the, that's the second one sounds nice, but I also don't want like if you don't like doing it, don't do it. Yeah, you know what I mean, like if I don't like, cause like, then it's just like I don't want you to, grudges. like, cause I don't want you to resent, yeah, resent yeah. that. So what was the first one? Someone um, I love reacts positively, basically. Oh praise. yeah, like when my sisters like a song that I wrote, that's that means so much Aww, to me. I wrote I a song. That. Oh, I wrote a song. Oh, you gotta hear this song. Oh my gosh, you gotta Wait, hear this song. What's a it's new crazy. song you yeah. wrote today? No, I wrote it like last week, but you haven't heard it. So update, heard the song. Loved it. Cried. In an in and out drive through And I'm still crying. Every time I play it. So. More meaningful when I'm able to be close... What? Mm -hmm. I'm able to be in close physical proximity to someone I love. Cosmo, get down. Cosmo is literally sitting up in the weirdest way. Okay, bye! He looks like... Dating. Okay! More meaningful to me when I can share a meaningful touch in public with mm. someone I love. Someone I love offers to run errands for me. This one's kind of weird. That one's weird because if it didn't say in public, yeah. like that one sounds like it's like you need to like have you need public to like, physical touch. Which yeah, is like, like PDA. Nah, it's not really me. It used to be me, but not me anymore. Yeah. Um, 
I guess run errands, but I mean, it doesn't. Nice. It's nice. I'd rather run errands with that person. Yeah. More meaningful when someone I love doesn't check their phone while we're talking with each other, mm. or someone I love goes out of their way to do something that relieves pressure on. Them. I'm doing the checking their phone. That was a big thing that like really turned me off in past relationships. Yeah. Especially the most recent one. If you know, you know. I don't think anyone knows. Well then you don't. Then don't worry about it. It is. It's fine. Don't worry, don't, don't worry about, about it. it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We're fine. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. We're doing great. More meaningful when I can look forward to a holiday because I'll probably get a gift from someone I love or I hear the words, I appreciate you. Ooh, I appreciate I you. I love the words, I, I say, appreciate I, I say you. that a lot to people too. Like, people I appreciate, like, I make sure because I know if somebody were to say that to me, nobody does. But if somebody were to say that to me, I'd be like, I appreciate like, Yo. you. I appreciate you too. I appreciate you, No, Alex. that's a joke. But I do make sure that people feel that because, yeah. like, even if it's, like, anybody, like, you can appreciate even on the smallest scale, this is dumb rant, but you can appreciate on the smallest scale, like even if you're like, if the, like the waiter that is like, re keeps refilling yes. your drink, it's like, yo, I appreciate, appreciate you, you. Fool. like, I appreciate you, dude. Yeah. Calmo abrió la puerta. No. Can't believe he does that. Uh huh. He said, yeah, he just goes, he's so smart. Yeah. Con la dos manos ahora. Mm hmm. That's crazy. Cosmo learned how to open the door, so. We're doing great. Cosmo's just like peeking from behind the wall because he knows he messed up. Look at him. Mira con the mira. Meaningful to me when someone I love helps me out when they know I'm already tired or I get to go somewhere while spending time with someone Ooh, I love. Second one for sure. That's yeah. an easy one. More meaningful to me when someone I love touches my arm or shoulder to show their concern or care. Someone I love gives me a little gift that they picked up in the course of their normal day. Me showing my concern. Concerned. I hate this. The, the act of this, I hate. Because oh my! By the way, do that again. Oh my gosh! What? Strong. <laughs> this <laughs> reminds. What? <laughs> Alex. Oh, hey, your boy Alex. getting that revenge body, baby. <laughs> no, I, I do. I like the arm. Like I just like when people. I don't know. I feel like if I'm having a conversation with somebody, if I was like talking to you and I was like, I care about you, or if I went. I care about you. Okay. You feel that a little okay, more, you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah, it, the, right. the energy runs through it. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love says something encouraging to me or mm -hmm. I get to spend time in a shared activity or hobby. What's the shared activity and hobby? I don't know, I'm, guess, I'm guessing rock climbing. Then yes. <laughs> it's more meaningful to me when someone I love surprises me with a small token of their appreciation. I'm touching someone I love frequently to express our friendship. <laughs> frequently. Frequently. I don't like frequently. It's like, hey. I don't hey, like hey, frequently. We're hey, we're friends. <laughs> hey, we're friends. Still, Still friends. friends. But I'm gonna go with that one because remember in, the, in, in our uh, in our song association video where I karate chopped you in the hair and I like ripped your hair out. Oh my god! Yes. Burn. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I'm so sorry. Pizza. <laughs> so I think that's a frequent. I think that's, that I was guess. a frequent touch. <laughs> Pero que quiere? Por que quiere entrar? <laughs> Para joder. Last one, you guys. It's more meaningful to me when I get a hug from someone who I haven't seen in a while, mm. or I hear someone I love tell me how much I mean to him or her. Mm. I'm gonna go with the hug. A hug, I'm gonna okay, go with the hug. hug, hug, for sure. Finish. Okay. Wait, hold on. Before we go into what my love language is, we have to find. You have to tell me what yours is. Mine are top. At the top, it's physical touch and quality time, and then. Um, words of affirmation. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. First, which ones do you think ranked? What do you think yours are? I think mine would probably be uh, quality time because it's something that I miss out with my family. Okay. Physical touch because, <laughs> come on. Um, <laughs> okay. And I don't know. I know gift giving oh, wouldn't shit. be it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and maybe, maybe like a little bit of words of affirmation because I do like being told that I am appreciated or that I am. I hold value in somebody else's life. Yeah. So your top love language, you literally said them in order. Really? That was so weird. Yeah. So number quality one is quality time. time. Number two is physical touch. And number three is words of affirmation. Oh, but look, no, it's literally 10 versus nine. nine. 10 so and nine. Like, they're pretty quality close. Quality time is like physical touch, like the top. And then it's five for words of affirmation, then acts of service and receiving yeah, it. I All right, you guys. So that is that. Um, 
Comment down below what you think your love language is mm -hmm. and also who you want to see on this series next. So far this series isn't proving anything for me because Bobby had the same exact love languages and so did you. Alright you guys, that's the end of this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below again your love language, what you think it is, or if you know it, comment it down below. Make sure you subscribe to Alex's channel. I will have everything down below. Oh wait, I know how to finish your videos. How? Hey guys, I love you. We're doing great. We'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>